here with head coach Greg Poole after WPI's inspired 3-0 victory over Simmons today. And, and coach, just appeared one of those matches where everything came together. Just uh, you guys with inspired effort, if you could talk about it. Yeah, it, it really was. We we had a rough go of it a couple nights ago against Clark where everything just didn't seem to go our way and mostly everything caused because of us didn't go our way. Uh, missed serves and tonight was the complete opposite. Everything just seemed to go our way. Um, a little bit of a spark. Shea coming back, who has been our starting center all year long. Um, we thought she had a stress fracture. We found out that it wasn't. We found out it was just a sprain. Um, they fit in with a, a, a great brace. Um, and she was pretty much pain free all night long and did a great job. Um, the people have been filling with Caroline and Emma did a nice job, but Shea, our offense is much quicker than Shea's in and she's running the show. So. And having almost a week off from that injury, she's. Pretty much you missed a beat. So. <laughs> and um, you guys got a lot of uh, seem emotion, a lot of excitement after your uh, pre-match uh, ceremony. Talk about the two people you honored there. Yeah, Je Jeanette Campbell um, was one of our sophomores who decided to leave the team this year because she has so much else going on with ROTC and academics. And uh, it was just too much with her, her class schedule and ROTC um, to be able to manage everything um, and still be healthy at the same time. So she decided to leave the team and we want to make sure that she wasn't forgotten um, and we miss her a great deal. She's an incredible young woman. Uh, Adrian was our, our junior this year, one of our junior captains, uh, but she will not be coming back next year because she's actually going to Panama to so work, on the Panama, work on the Panama Canal. One of four students selected from, this, from the school. Um, housing is paid for stipend per week. She'll be there for 15 weeks starting July, but it will keep her there through the entire A term and the B term break. Um, this, so, and says you are to see her go, wow, what an opportunity. Yeah, it's an incredible opportunity. Um, she came to my office to talk about it and, and was actually debating it for, I think, a second, whether she should miss volleyball. And I said if she didn't go, it was going to hurt her. So, um, an amazing opportunity. And just, I mean, she's, she's a 4-0 student. She's everything that, that student athletes should be at this school. And uh, you already talked about Shay a little bit. Let's talk about the two other people we were uh, able to talk to. Uh, what did you give... Um, uh, Kenzie today, uh, hit 8.33, 10, oh, uh, 10 awesome. kills and 12 attempts. Awesome. Kenzie, a year ago at this time, we had to shut Kenzie down. She was having knee problems. Uh, she ended up having microfracture surgery. Uh, usually it's a good 9 to 12 months recovery for that. We brought her along very slowly this year, very limited in preseason, and Vert was not playing her an awful lot early in the season. For the hope that she would be feeling healthy enough and strong enough at the end of this season um, to do things like she did tonight, hit over 800. and. I think she was 10 for 12 with no errors, and maybe one error. It was just an amazing, and she's digging ball. She's had a great serving night. We had her back there to serve tonight. This is what we hoped we would see out of her towards the end of the season, and it's it's she's doing an amazing and, job. And another player you managed real well time and injury-wise, uh, uh, Cass. Uh, if you're talking about she had another double-double today. Yep. Same thing last year. We shut Cass down because she had torn the labrum in her hip last season, shut her down for the last couple weeks. Brought her along very slowly. We didn't think we were going to have her this year, um, and she's... She's an amazing specimen for working out and keeping herself in good physical condition. So you're seeing the hard work that these girls have put in throughout the entire in the past 12 months to get to this point. Um, and she was phenomenal to me. She's a primary passer. She swings very well at only about 5'6". You might say she's 5'7". She's <laughs> um, she reaches really high for the ball and makes really great decisions. But she's an incredible all-around player. Coach, thank you. Great job tonight. Uh, WPI Mount Holyoke to close the season. And then on a good note, up at Mount Holyoke, and we'll talk to you again soon. Appreciate it.